Hello, hello, Leo, Virgo, Cusp, Leos, Virgos, Cross Watchers, welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Tiaka Love. How are you all doing? Okay, y'all. So, it's time for me to get you all some messages for the month of May. Um, please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate, please do leave them here on the table, okay? Um, so, y'all, how have you all been doing? What have you been up to? If you are a mother, happy Mother's Day is coming up uh, next weekend, okay? Um, hopefully, y'all, we have some messages here that will be helpful to you all in regards to your love connection, okay? We're going to get your overall energy. Uh, we're going to get a message in regards to divine timing and see if we could see when are some things are going to happen here. Uh, we're going to get some physical features of your love interest. We're going to see what's going on in the connection. Get you a confession and some advice. Okay. All right. So that's it here. This is your overall energy for the month of May. We are ready to begin. Okay. You have accountability. Account ability here okay so someone needs to take accountability for their actions it may be you or your partner or the both of you acknowledging the effect of your behavior allows you to move forward so until someone takes accountability for their actions their words or uh, whatever the case may be um, then you're going to have a hard time moving forward okay all right, so you have final shot here. So now is the time. The clock is tick, 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 ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. So it's time for you're in this energy where you're ready for your person to come on now, shoot your final shot. Um, or this is what you need to do here okay you have love language so learning and understanding each other's love languages are essential to meet each other's emotional needs so you have to learn each other's love languages here okay all right and also family and friends so you know that the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection here that you share with this person okay all right y'all so let's see what's going on but first we're going to get a message in regards to divine time in here it's in the future okay so it's in the future here um and let's get one more on timing you have january y'all january could be a significant month to you all um, or your person that you are interested in and the time is now so the time is now uh, to take action okay and uh, 9 10 11 12 which is number three growth and creativity it's in the future okay all right so let's see let's get some physical features or see if we could get some physical features of your love interest you have dark skin here so your person could have nice beautiful dark skin here okay hazel eyes all right this person could have hazel eyes um european all right so they could be a European here, all right, and you have black or African American, okay, all right, so let's see what's going on in this connection, I'm trying to see if we can see what's going on in this connection between you and your love interest for the month of May here, you got the eight of pentacles, all right, this is hard work, dedication, ambition, time, effort, all that that you have put into this person or this connection here. All right, you got the seven of pentacles. So harvest time, it hard. Your hard work will start to pay off here, or this is uh, the energy of maybe like a waiting period, but um, it is progressing here. Okay, you have the two of cups. So this is a mutual attraction that you feel here with this person. With this person, um, this is a partnership and your true love here. Okay. Uh, we have cancer energy here and virgo energy okay and gemini energy so you have the nine of swords nine of swords is 
someone in this connection is maybe having a lot of anxiety, feeling an uh, overwhelmness of stress here, maybe mentally is conflicted here due to this person that you think or that this is a partnership, this is your true love here, um, but you're ready for your hard work, dedication, and time to kind of manifest into something more here, okay? So uh, let's clarify. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles. Tell us more here. Okay, you have planning. So you have been planning that um, you have been planning. You have been waiting here. I'm getting you're getting a bit impatient here. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have responsibilities. So this person either have a lot of responsibilities, or you both share uh, responsibilities here. Okay. Um, this could be causing some type of stagnation, all right? So let's look at this Two of Cups. You have intimacy. So with this mutual attraction, partnership, true love, there is intimacy, passion here that you and this person share, okay? This Nine of Swords energy here, you have independent, all right? So um, someone is, I do have... Oh, maybe you're tired here of being single, okay? Maybe someone here is tired, is getting overwhelmed here by being single, okay? You're tired of just maybe the intimacy that you share. There are some responsibilities that maybe you have to just be patient and continue to plan here. But uh, let's keep going, y'all. Let's look more at this Eight of Pentacles and planning, all right? You have game over. So this person fear your wrath. They know that you no longer is entertaining. They are, have um, effort here that they are putting into you or this connection, all right? The Seven of Pentacles with the responsibilities. You have fairy tale. So they think this kind of love only happens in the fairy tale stories because to them, you are like too good to be true here. So this could be another reason why there is maybe some stagnation here. Okay. With this two of cups in the intimacy, you have innocence. All right, so your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but they feel they must push you away to prevent you from themselves here, okay? So this person is trying to protect you by pushing you away because uh, maybe they are coming in half-hearted, all right? Now with this nine of swords and this independent, you have building a empire, all right? So this person could be someone who is a bit materialistic and um, their focus on material things has them holding back from being happy, okay, or from love, all right? So let's look more into or just clarify a bit more this Eight of Pentacles with the game over in Planet. You have Divine Masculine here. So this Divine Masculine is needing, I guess, to focus, maybe plan, uh, put more work, time, and effort into you and this connection, okay? So let's look at the Seven of Pentacles with the fairy tale. You have faith and destiny. Things will work out in the end. So someone, yeah, you do have, um, you, um, you're in this energy where you want to continue to plant your seeds because you are in hopes that your hard work, dedication, and time will pay off, okay? This Two of Cups with the innocence, you have an illusion here. So you have to realize what is fantasy, what is reality, maybe a person is needing to maybe you guys gotta step back from the intimate moments here to realize here that what is reality what is um fantasy here okay now this nine of swords with the building of empire and independent okay so you have regret so someone is feeling a lot of regret here for maybe focusing on their empire and not putting their time and energy into uh the connection here okay so let's get a confession for you what do this person want to 
confess to you. Um, they have anger issues that they are working on. All right. And also, you are all I ever need. You complete me. Okay. So they want you to know that you are all they ever need. You complete them. They're working on anger issues here. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. You have healing. So there's old wounds and childhood issues that needs to take place. Uh, forgiveness here. You got to forgive yourself or your person. This will help you all to move forward. Okay. There's that vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. And make sure you clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay. All right, y'all. So these are your messages. I really hope that it will be helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. I will see y'all next time. Bye.